Welcome to ProServe 2012 demonstration videos. This product is developed in Visual Studio with Visual Basic as the core language and SQL Server 2008 as the database platform. This is a Microsoft Windows compatible desktop application that is totally installed on your hard drive. It is not a web-based application. Now it does require SQL Server. For those of you that may not know or be familiar with SQL Server, what it is in relation to ProServe 2012 is a database server engine that handles all of the communication between ProServe 2012 and the databases designed for ProServe 2012. Our product uses the SQL Server 2008 Express Edition, and it's actually free. It can be downloaded and installed from our website or from the DVD at no extra cost to you. Welcome to ProServe 2012. This is the main menu screen. This section in the middle of the screen is actually a web browser and it connects directly to our support web page. I want to take a look at the basic core concept. The concept of this system is to set up departments and it allows you to separate services within the entire system. In other words, you can print reports by department, create recurring work by department. You're able to segregate the service types within the same system or customer service accounts database. Then you're going to be able to set up service codes and you're going to be able to assign those service codes to a department. Then you're going to set up routes. Now routes should be a geographical location so you can assign each service account to a route. Technicians, you're able to assign up to five routes to them. Set up your service accounts. You're able to set up multiple service accounts per billing account. So any customer could have a monthly pest service and a termite renewal service under the same billing account. Then there's a recurring service creation program. Create your recurring work by department. Use the Open WIP program to print work order tickets, route sheets, and schedule reports. Use the scheduler to reschedule work from the Open Work Orders file as needed. And then use order entry to actually post the work as being completed. In other words, use order entry to process the open work orders. Let's take a look at each one of those. Let's start out with the department. Let me just show you how that's set up. I can set up my departments as many as I need. And in the department, I'm able to tell the program what work order form style it will use or whether it's a dot metrics printer or not. Okay. Let's take a look while we're in here at the service code. I can set up service codes and I essentially assign that service code to a department. See? So this guy's assigned to the pest control department. Okay? Now that takes care of departments and the service codes. Let's take a look at the route. Routes are geographical locations. Set up as many as you need. Then I'm going to set up my technician file. And then I'm going to assign each technician up to five different routes. This is what ties this technician to a customer's account. That's the department, service code, route, technician. Let's take a look at the service accounts. I'm going to go to file, click customer file. This loads all my customers into this session. I'm going to access a particular account. It's called Rolling Hills Apartments. This is the billing information. 
terms, credit alerts, and things like that. If I click the service tab, then I can set up as many service locations as needed for this billing account. Here's how I schedule or, re or set up a recurring schedule. First, I assign it to a route. Then I pick the service code, set the dollar value, set up a map code. In this case, we're just using the zip code. This guy is set up for monthly on the third Wednesday of each one of these months that I have turned on. I can control the time by just simply coming in here and changing that time. See how it changed it in this blue area right here? Because that's actually my next service date based on today's date. Okay? While we're in here, let me just click on Custom and click Edit and show you how you could come in and, and really customize this particular account you know, down to some details. For example, I could work him on the first Tuesday and the fourth Friday of those months that I have turned on. So as you can see, it's, it's nearly unlimited of how you can schedule accounts. I'm not going to say it's totally unlimited because it's not. Uh, but it's got a lot of different uh, features of, the, of how you can uh, schedule accounts. There's a yearly and, of course, back to monthly and so forth. So let's get out of that. That's the service account. Let's look at recurring service creation program. I'm going to go to orders, drop down to service creation recur. This is where I can come in and, and basically create work for March of 2013 for the Pest Control Department. This reads through my service account file and generates all the work orders for me that are due for that month based on the service accounts. I'm going to quit out of that without saving. That's how I create my rec recurring work. After I create my recurring work, I'm going to use Open Whip to print, for example, my mass work order tickets. I'm going to set my time frame here. Let's say I'm going to print from January 1st to January 15th. Now I've got it down to 100 accounts. But I only want what's scheduled. Now I'm down to 89. So now I can click this and actually print all of those tickets in one setting. Okay? So I've got 89 tickets right here to print. I could double click a single order and actually just print that one single work order ticket. Work order forms are customizable. I could click here and save it as an Excel spreadsheet or save it as a PDF file if I wanted to maybe email this guy this work order. And this is actually true for pretty much anything in this system, from invoices to reports. That's how I basically print my tickets and print schedule reports and route sheets and things like that from my open work order table. Now, let's look at the scheduler. If I needed to, I can use the scheduling program to actually schedule the work. Let me change my date to maybe the 10th. So let's say I'm looking at technician Mike Howard, and it's going to pick up at January 10th, go to January 11th, and then it jumps to 14th. Well, notice that it's skipping Saturday and Sunday. That's because I've towed it to uh, right here. See? So that's what I can do with the scheduling program. I can double click this guy and reschedule him. You know, by just simply changing the date and moving him around or doing whatever it is I needed to do. Now, order entry. This is where I actually process my work orders. 
This is where I can actually create new uh, work orders if I needed to. Uh, but basically, I use this program to uh, edit or modify work orders or even reschedule them from here. But mostly, I'm going to be using it to actually post it as being done. See? And I'm going to go ahead and post a payment and let it print me an invoice when it gets done. So I go ahead and apply this. Now it goes through the payment process. And now I can go ahead and just save all. And then it's going to pop up and let me print an invoice because I told it to. And there's what an invoice looks like. Uh, it's customizable as well. And that's pretty much it for this video. That covers the core concept of this system. And basically, the recurring part of it is just the cycle. It's just from one month to the next. You're creating your work. You're using uh, order entry to process everything to get the work done. And then it's all basically starting over again the next month. Uh, it has purchase orders. It has payables. It has a general ledger. And there's reports where I can print open work orders, sales order information, accounts receivable information, inventory, uh, and things like that. And I can set up an inventory so that I can post chemicals. Now, if you're interested in this program and you'd like to, uh, you know, see more of it, you know, just go back to my website, ProServe2012.com. Uh, click on the DVD link and just fill this form out and uh, submit it. And uh, I'll send you a DVD and we'll help you get it installed. And you can check it out for 14 days. Thanks very much for watching this video.